to the Tiger Toledo show. I am your humble hip hop sales coach Tiger Toledo and you are now rocking with the best. You already know what it is, man. You heard? Got a lot of things a a lot of things popping, man. For this new year 2023, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope this message reaches you in love and light. Peace to the gods and the earths out there. So, uh, real quick, just want to let you guys know about a couple of events I have co coming up. Uh, Notary Marketing Secrets, February 21st. This is going to be virtual online. Then I have the Notary Agency Secrets. That comes out March 28th. Again, this is another live event. And it's back, folks. It's back. The Power of Attorney Masterclass, the number one masterclass for notary professionals, notary entrepreneurs, notary CEOs. That's going to be April 4th. We already sold a few tickets of that already. Shocking. Because this event is in April. People are getting the tickets now. There's only a few tickets left. Listen, I try to keep my classes very small because I want us to have that intimate setting. I want us to have that intimate setting. It's very important to me. I'm not looking to have a hundred people at this master class. I like to keep my master classes very small. Then I'm also doing the I close deals with my man Tekamaku out there in Oakland, California on February 20th. And I'm also do I'm 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 taking a trip out to Orlando, Florida virtually to do a lock-in party with Don Velez on March 11th. Oh yeah, the schedule is busy, baby. The schedule is busy. And then I have the new release book, The 21 Commandments of Influence dropping on my mom's birthday. May 11th. Mark those days in your calendar. You guys can go to tigertoledo.com to see everything I have going on. That is my global hub. You could go to tigertoledo.com. You'll be able to keep up to date with everything I have going on. So today I wanted to talk about, I heard, I heard this really good podcast, man, and I thought that I would be able to elaborate because he didn't go too much into detail. I, this is my first time actually seeing this guy. Um, I can't, I think his name is Bedrus. Bedrus, if I'm not mistaken. Hardcore dude, right? One of them, like I, I, I gravitate towards the, the hardcore cats, you know, like the David Goggins, you know what I mean? Um, the, I, I like this Bedrus dude. I don't like them passive mentor coach dudes i look for somebody that got grit someone that's aggressive that takes that apex predator approach towards things the passive dude that me and him don't gel you know what i mean i look for people that work out you know people that not only have reached a level of stature financially in their career but they also look physically you know, built because I work out. I know how important that is for me as a man. I work out. I, I, I'm in the gym every day, five days a week. I'm working on the muscle definition. I'm drinking my protein shakes. I'm doing all these things. So naturally I'm going to gravitate towards fit people. So the guy was talking about grinding, right? And in the melanated community, we use that word grind and hustle a lot, a lot. And I get it. In the beginning parts of your career as an entrepreneur, yeah, it's got to take some hell of a lot of grinding, right? But he made a point. He was like, when you really look at the word grind and anything associated with grind, what happens when you grind something too much? It becomes powder. 
you grind it down to a fine dust. And many people will experience that because they grind themselves over and over and over and over again. So then he went into leverage. And I said, you know what? That is, that is, that is the trick. That is the trick. It's the grind multiplied by leverage. I'll give you an example how I use this business model. He just sparked something in my mind is like, you know, for me to be aware of what I'm doing and be a, a lot more conscious of that, right? So me being a uh, notary entrepreneur, a businessman, right? I'm a, I'm a businessman before I'm a notary, well, hands down. And I only teach entrepreneurs who happen to be notaries. Let's get that out the way early. As a notary practitioner, a person that goes out to every single appointment and notarizes documents for clients, there's only so much I can do. This is the grind part, right? This is the grinding side of things. I can only do so much. I can only run so many appointments before I tap out. So I said to myself, you know what? To make 100K or 10K a month, there got to be a better way than this, man. Because if I keep running at this pace, I'm going to fizz out. I'm going to tap out. I, I'm, I'm going to look for the next month off, the next two months off. And by that time, another notary can come in and take my client that I've been working so hard to get right from under me because they caught me when I was snoozing or just trying to recoup or reload, right? Nah, I don't want that. I want it to be continuous. So I formulated and designed a notary agency. Now the notary agency gave me leverage it allowed me to leverage other people's commission and stamp. So now I don't have to miss any appointments, nor do I have to run every single appointment. Now I can dispatch other notaries, break bread with them. Everyone's happy. I brokered a deal. I dispatched the notary. The notary fulfills the obligation, the, the assignment, right? And after assignment is fulfilled, boom, I break bread with them. I was like, okay, I can scale this. You heard? I said, I could scale this. I could, I could really do this right here because I can run, I can broker 10 deals and never step outside of the house. I can broker 10 deals and dispatch 10 assignments to notaries and still be in my jacletas and still be in my house shoes. That's leverage. Let me give you another example. I don't know. Maybe, I, I'm no, I know I'm not the only one. When I go on the social media, I get caught in the social media vortex. I'm almost like repelling social media at this point. I'm like, like purging social media out of my DNA at this point. Because when I go on there, I wind up staying on social media for hours. Look, man, I'm a guy. There's, there's some bad chicks that be coming through social media. I'm like, oh, whoa, you know what I mean? And I get wrapped up or I'll see something funny. I'll see some comedic shit and start laughing and explore that person's page. Then I'll see some business stuff and I'm like, okay, okay. I was like, next thing I know, two, three hours have gone by. I said, no, 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 no. This is not the most productive way for me to spend my day. 
and my intention was to upload a post or two or a video, right? So I went with the intention to post a a picture or video or, you know, some helpful type of content and I get caught in the social media vortex. Tell me if that's you. So I said, this is not a good way to do things. This is the grind, right? <laughs> Social media is grinding me. I'm trying to grind and put up a post or two, like two or three posts. And in return, it's grinding me out. It's grinding me to a fine powder dust. I said, I got to figure out a better way. So what I did, I found buffer.com and I'm not endorsing these guys, but I've been using them for the last few years. So, um, I wish I, I wish they did have an affiliate so I could get paid off of it. Buffer, holla at the kid. Holla at the kid. I'd like to get paid for, for these referrals. You heard? It's a new day and era, man. Um, so I use Buffer. And Buffer allows me to release a post on the hour, every hour, every single day without me ever going on social media. That, my friend, is leverage. And as Grant Cardone would call it, that's taking massive action. Okay? Because I was putting maybe two or three posts a day. And I was like, that's it's not it's not efficient. I like to run a lean company. I love I like to run there's three things that I hold very, very close to me. Uh time uh speed to market is very important to me. Efficiency is very important to me, and having a very, very lean company, meaning it's not bogged down. There's like not a lot of overhead. I don't like that type of stuff. So those three right there are very important to me. Speed the market, efficiency, and being lean. And I said, me personally going on social media and putting two or three posts out there is not the most effective way to do it. I need a more efficient way to do it. And there were two of them that were out at the time. It was a Hootsuite and then there was Buffer. I didn't really like the Hootsuite interface, so I went over to Buffer. Buffer still has a couple of kinks that they need to work out, especially when it comes down to uh, uh, posting videos and stuff. But on LinkedIn, if I, now, now let me show you the left. Let me show, let me, sh for those that don't know me, let me share with you the, the, the massive action I'm able to take with this social media post scheduler. Now I was able to do three posts per day on Instagram. We're just gonna use Instagram for this one, right? IG. I put out three posts. Consistently, I put out what? 7, 14, 21 posts a week, right? Now, I tried to break the internet because I, th that's my personality and shit. I'm going to push it all the way to the limit until like I get kickback. I need kickback. I need to see where there's a pushback at, right? So I schedule a post to be released every 30 minutes on IG with Buffer. Facebook sends me a message and says, you have exceeded the post limit for your account. Did you guys know that? The only way you would know that is if you pushed it to the limit. Is if you're a disruptor or disruptor put up a post that said, hey, did you know that there is a post limit? And most people don't reach the post limit. So that puts you at the top 1%. Let me just say that taking that type of massive action to receive that email from 
Instagram to say, hey, look, dude, we're not taking any more of your posts. You are flooding the market at this point, which I did. I've gotten that post twice already. I got that email twice already. So I said, all right, all right, let me scale back like two or three posts, right? Let me scale back about two or three posts and I'm gonna just do it slightly under the limit, but still, you know, stay under the radar. So now I put out 20 posts per day, 20. Now, mind you, I was doing 21 per week. I do 20 per day. That's 140 posts that I release in one day. That's posts, videos, real, so on and so forth, right? Minimum. Because some of them I might just jump on social media and throw it in myself. That, my friend, is massive action. So what does that do for my brand? What does that do for my company? When I flood the market like that, I drown out a competition. Which I don't believe in competition because I'm, I'm moving my own lane. But if there were a competition, I'm drowning you. I am holding your head underwater and I have no plans on letting you back up. Gangsta. So now I'm releasing 140 posts per week on Instagram. Well, guess what? On Buffer, I can add other social media sites as well. So now I'm gonna do it on LinkedIn. I wasn't even posting on LinkedIn because I don't even go on LinkedIn like that. But I want my presence felt on LinkedIn. So now I release an additional 50 posts on LinkedIn. Their, their threshold is a little bit lower than Facebook. You can't post as much as you can on Facebook. So now I start flooding the market in LinkedIn. I said, I got a Facebook account too. Let me go flood the market over there. And then I do another 100 posts on Facebook. So let's combine that. You have 140 over here. Then you have another 100 on Facebook. That's 240. And then I have another 50 on LinkedIn. That's 290 posts per week. That's taking massive action and that's using leverage. Could you imagine how much time it would take me if I did it individually myself? And this is what he meant by grinding will grind your ass into a fine powder. I know he couldn't illustrate it the way I do it. That's why I had to put it together myself. That's how I had to, I had to repackage that, that message he did and re-deliver it in my own swag, my own personality, to my own audience. Because you guys might not follow that type of dude. He's a raw, uncut dude. For me, he resonates with my personality. For somebody else, they be like, I can't deal with this dude. Uh-uh. So grinding versus leverage. It takes a little bit of both, but you definitely want to be on the leverage side. Another word people would use for leverage is scale. Right? So I just wanted to drop those gems with you guys. Hey, look, let me go back over the events that I have coming up. Uh, February 21st, um, I will be doing Marketing Secrets. You, you can go on TigerToledo.com. Um, Notary Agency Secrets on March 28th. Power of Attorney Masterclass, that's April 4th. Um, I Close Deals with Tekamaku out of Oakland, California. We're, we're doing that February 20th. I'm doing a lock-in party. 
uh, with Dawn Velez in Orlando, Florida, March 11th. And then I am also releasing my newest, latest book, The 21 Commandments of Influence on my mom's birthday, May 11th. Just go to tigertolita.com. You'll be able to see everything I have going on there. And we'll get it popping, man. I'll talk to you guys soon. You heard?